Hello viewers, welcome to Mesology. In this video, our main focus is on the use of microorganisms in food production. To speak more specifically, the use of bacteria in the food industry. Nature uses microorganisms to carry out fermentation processes. And for thousands of years, mankind has used not only bacteria, but yeasts, molds, and other microorganisms to make food products such as bread, beer, wine, vinegar, curd, yogurt, cheese, as well as other fermented food products from fish, meat, and vegetables. In this session, our main focus is on the bacteria and its use in making several food products. So, let us first know about the bacteria itself. A bacteria falls under the kingdom Monera. Each individual bacterium is rather a simple unicellular organism. It contains a living substance called protoplasm or protoplast lying within the cell membrane. It is called protoplast because it contains both the cytoplasm and the bacterial chromosome in it, which is surrounded by a non-living stiff cell wall. This cell wall is not the exact cell wall as it is found in the plant cell. Here it is made up of peptidoglycan, different from the cellulose cell wall of the plant cell. A thin cell membrane lies immediately beneath the cell wall and surrounds the cytoplasm. There is no well-defined nucleus, but a DNA material is present in the central region. This DNA material is in the form of a single circle and is not enclosed in a nuclear envelope, but it is attached to the cell membrane at some point. The cytoplasm contains certain vacuoles, granules and in some cases chlorophyll may also be present. Sometimes a slimy protective layer called capsule is also present outside the cell wall. Bacteria are amongst the smallest living organisms present on earth. Shape-wise bacteria can usually be divided into four types. The spherical shaped bacteria called cocci, the rod shaped bacteria named as bacilli, while the helical and the twisted bacteria are named spirillium, and the last, that is coma shaped bacteria, are named as vibrio. The cocci type can stay singly called monococcus or occur in pairs called diplococcus. When in long chains, they are called streptococcus, while found in clusters, they are called staphylococcus. With the bacilli form or the rod-shaped bacteria, they may or may not possess flagella. Depending upon the number and the location of flagella, again, there are different namings for the bacteria. But now we will you know, focus into the uses of bacteria in the food industry. So, biotechnology has used these microorganisms to make several end products that are useful to mankind. And biotechnology has been an ever-growing area of industrial development. The range of materials that can be produced in this way is getting bigger all the time. Some of these processes have been a part of human culture for thousands of years. Let's begin with the first product, curd. Curd is one of the fastest growing food products of the dairy industry, also the food industry as a whole. Traditionally, curd is fermented whole milk. It is formed by the action of bacteria on the lactose present in the milk. The most commonly used bacteria in this process are the Lactobacillus bulgaricus and the Lactobacillus acidophilus. 
Curd can also be made at home by warming up milk and then adding a batch of previously made curd which is also called as the starter. Yogurt which is another form of this curd is a commercially fermented product. This is made by using specific bacteria to add a specific flavor to it. The bacteria that are used in this case may range from Streptococcus thermophilus to Bifidobacterium adolescentis. Several other bacteria are also used to add different flavors to it. Generally, when we compare the curd and the yogurt, we find the yogurt is generally thicker in consistency and this is prepared after straining out the whey. Both curd and yogurt are considered to be very healthy food because they are high in calcium which is important for the bone growth in children and also for the prevention of osteoporosis in adults. Comes to yogurt, this is also filled with the goodness of proteins additionally as compared to that of the curd. Next we come to the product which is called cheese. Cheese is also very popular in the present time. Cheese is a valuable food with high quantities of protein, some fat together with calcium and phosphorus along with the different types of vitamins present in it. People have been eating cheese for centuries. This is also made from milk. The processes involved in the making of cheese usually include the curdling of milk and for this curdling, the lactobacillus acidophilus is necessarily used. After that, it goes to the processing of curd. In this processing, there is removal of moisture to turn it into cotton cheese, where we again have some bacteria to be used in this process. Next, it follows the process of salting, which further removes any traces of moisture present there and this prevents the growth of undesirable microorganisms. The last step in the preparation of cheese is the ripening of the cheese. Here curd is kept at a suitable temperature and humidity and microorganisms are added with lactic acid bacteria at step 1. Then to impart a particular flavor different bacterium can be used like the Lactobacillus lactis, Arthrobacter arilactensis, Arthrobacter bergeri, or Arthrobacter globiformis. Few more are also possible for the addition into the smear to help ripening of the bacteria at different stages. They may include the Arthrobacter variabilis or the Arthrobacter nicotinia for the tilsit. Now we move on to the next product which is alcohol and vinegar. The activity of specific type of bacteria results in the production of alcohol and vinegar from the sugar solution. For the formation of wine, Lactobacillus mali, Lactobacillus negeli, Lactobacillus oini, these are the commonest ones that are used. Even Lactobacillus hilgardi or the Lactobacillus bucheri has been found to be used in the formation of wine. For the preparation of Beer, Acetobacter cerevisiae is found to be used most commonly. 
when it comes to the formation of vinegar acetobacter pomorum acetobacter sezigi or different species of gluconobacters are also used the next product is tea curing of tea is done with the help of bacteria by this process not only the bitterness of the tea leaves but also its color is removed and a specific flavor and aroma can be obtained for the treatment of tea leaves bacillus megatherium is of utmost use the tobacco leaves are also cured with the help of different varieties of bacteria the next product is vitamins certain types of bacteria live in the intestines of humans and they help in the synthesis of several vitamins like thiamine folate biotin riboflavin pantothenic acid and many more these bacteria usually fall under the genus bifidobacterium enterococcus or bacteroides in the herbivorous organisms they also harbor quite a number of bacteria that help in the digestion of cellulose next it comes to the use of bacteria in the field of agriculture bacteria play a very vital role in agriculture by enriching the soil with nitrates the rhizobium bacteria found in the root nodules of the legumes like the pea plant and the pulses they fix the atmospheric nitrogen into simpler more readily absorbable forms of nitrogen similarly bacteria like nitrosomonas nitrobacter paracoccus they all help to enrich the soil with nitrogen here it doesn't end with the usefulness of the bacteria bacteria can be used in bread making which is one of the vital need in the food production here the lactobacillus acid tolerance lactobacillus acidiformi lactobacillus bucheri lactobacillus crispatus and several other species of the lactobacillus genus are found very useful for obtaining the leavening in the bread making there are few more places where bacteria has been used that is in the preservation of meat in the preservation of fish and several vegetables and fruits they include the enterococcus faecalis enterococcus faecium or holomonas elongata when it comes to fish lactobacillus alimentarius or the lactobacillus acidipicis can be used comes to the vegetables lactobacillus rhamnosus and for the fruits the lactobacillus vaccinosterus are the ones that are most useful beyond this there are several more uses of microorganisms in the food industry and that is growing day after day thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel